Hello everyone, I'm Paula Doyle from Cognite and today I'm going to talk about a key challenge faced by the industry, namely how to become data driven at scale and the role that data ops and our technology Cognite Data Fusion plays in solving that challenge. So let's look at the actual problem in industry and here it is. Across the board, industrial companies, analyst communities and consultancies believe that there is significant value to be realized through data driven operations. And to achieve this value, industrial companies need to become data driven at scale, meaning deployment of data driven solutions and products across fleets. So that be that platforms, rigs, equipment or factories. However, the actual state of adoption of, of data driven um, operations is low. What we see is a lot of proof of concepts and pilots and there's a lot of buzz around it and they get great attention in the media and at conferences. However, it's only a very limited number of those that come into production. And even further, an even further limited number that actually make it from proof of concept to proof of scale. So there's clearly something wrong here, but what is it? Well, if we put organizational challenges aside and just focus on the technical, a major technical challenge faced by the industry in becoming data-driven is the data. Industrial data is complex. Unlike consumer data, which is relatively easy to access and pretty homogenous, industrial data is complicated and building solutions data-driven is not out of the box. As those of us who work in the industry know, there are many systems generating data across a fleet or even in a single asset. And they can vary in age, even with delta of decades. They vary in interfaces, open, proprietary. They vary in location, on-prem or cloud. And they vary in the types of data, from sensor data, high speed, low frequency, to 3D data, documents, unstructured and structured. And in addition to that, a lot of business has been built in keeping data locked to the original source systems, rather than freeing it up for broader data consumption. So silo data is a challenge but it's not the only one. We also have the classic OT-IT divide, an organizational and tech challenge. And then we have the IT data science divide, plus the massive challenge of data quality and deployment environments, which leads us to the reality where most of the time spent in data-driven projects is actually on getting access to the data, preparing the data and cleaning the data, making the data fit for purpose. And unfortunately, for each proof of concept and pilot that's done, this effort, which takes 90% of the time and money, is not reusable, meaning we have a very significant challenge if we want to deliver data at scale. And really, enabling scale is the crux of the issue. As you can see in this quote from McKinsey, there is absolutely value to be realized, both top line and bottom line, but the major value comes in scale, where you can realize both the cost benefits of scale as well as the multiplied ROI. To achieve this, we must replace today's manual effort. It must be codified and it must be put in software. And this is really the point of data ops. Now, what is data ops? Well, according to Forrester, data ops is the ability to enable solutions, develop data products and activate data for business value across all technology tiers from infrastructure to experience. And our software, Cognite Data Fusion is the industrial data ops platform. It has been developed in close collaboration with the industry to deliver a true industrial data operations and contextualization experience that allows industries to deliver rapid value at scale. Cognite Data Fusion takes care to secure the round trip of the data from the source systems, cleaned, contextualized, analyzed, and back into the real world where decisions and actions are taken at scale. Cognitive Data Fusion unifies engineering, operational and IT data in one data ops platform and it's used by industrial companies today to improve safety, sustainability, efficiency and to drive revenue. So how do we do that? Well, we break it up really into three steps, making data available, making data useful and making data valuable. And these are three core steps of data operations and also really steps to achieve data driven success at scale. So first of all, making data available. How do we do that? Well, Cognitive Data Fusion supports a large variety of industrial data sources and has extractor software that connects to industrial systems. To truly get value and insights from industrial data, you need to be able to use a variety, your breadth of data. And this is one of the challenges, handling the variety. So Cognitive Data Fusion, the software supports streaming time series data, 
events, structured data, such as ERP and work order data, and unstructured data, such as documents, 3D, diagrams, and video, basically representing the breadth of normal industrial data. But plus, it also has support for generic or for domain-specific data, such as seismic and geospatial, allowing you to get access to the breadth of data that you have already today. And a variety of extraction mechanisms are available, reflecting the data types, such as streaming, batch, and push and pull. And all data is secured in transit and in rest. So through this step, the industrial data is liberated and it's made available with a 99.5% of the time guarantee. The second step, making data useful. So it's not enough just to have the data available. It needs to be useful. And there's a number of technical challenges with that. Firstly, the data needs to be contextualized or linked. And here we apply AI, or to a broader degree, ML, uh, to contextualize the variety of data sources, as in linking them together so that your sensor data is linked to the asset, which is linked to the, where it is in the 3D uh, diagram, linked to the work orders, linked to HSE events, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And Cognate Data Fusion it learns as it goes. It contextualizes in real time and has a wide range of industrial functionality, such as the automatic parsing of PNIDs to extract relationships. Because what's really key here is that we deliver a solution that works for the industry, not a generic data op solution that can be applied across finance, across consumers, um, etc. Um, so these data, this relationship is put in Cognitive Data Fusion's data model, uh, and that spans engineering, uh, OT, and also IT, supporting documents, time series, seismic events, etc. And a very important point about the data model is that it needs to be flex it needs to be flexible, and it needs to match industrial reality. And this is where the data model is really where the contextualization, contextualization materializes with relationships between data established and data available. Finally, the core data ops features that are really needed for driving data-driven solutions into operations and scaling them across the fleet is all around the data quality and monitoring. Um, so data management, ensuring that you have the lineage, the governance, and the quality of the data needed to put these solutions actually into, into operations. And you see it here. I mean, it sounds obvious, but without these features, providing contextualization across silos and domains, making data searchable, um, being able to query the data, to be able to check its lineage, make sure that it's secure and correctly governed and fresh, you cannot drive data-driven at scale. And finally, the third step, making data valuable. This is really all about connecting the data to the business problem. And here I'm focusing mostly on the interface to Cognite Data Fusion. And one of the core features of the product is openness. We believe that our customers have the right to use their data in whichever application or tool they wish. The application landscape for industry is in a state of flux and flexibility is key for industrial operators. And here we don't just think about the standard applications, but also we need to think about enabling data scientists and citizen data scientists, local frameworks and dashboarding. So the Cognite Data Fusion UI enables workflows for a wide variety of data consumers. And true to openness, it provides interfaces from the expert codo, co coder with the SDKs and the API, um, also to data scientists with inbuilt no notebook and Python support, um, and citizen data scientists with connectors to Power BI, OData, which is used by, I think it's the industry's most widely used tool, Excel, um, and also Grafana. And it's really key that we are able to support this wide variety of data consumers with quality assured and available data so that they can really drive data-driven operations and scale it out. So to summarize, data ops is a key technology required by industrial companies who are serious about realizing value from the data. Data ops for industry requires a myriad of functionality for data security, management, governance and quality, and a flexible data model that allows for the realities of industrial data. But that's not enough. To be truly valuable as an industrial data ops platform, you need to support contextualization in real time, as well as the ability to deploy and monitor models and functions, integrations with physics simulators, enabling hybrid AI, and all must be available in interfaces that are 
been able to consume by the variety of data consumers that we're seeing and we're seeing emerge in industrial companies today data scientists citizen data scientists expert developers um, and engineers and this is really what we have delivered with Cognite Data Fusion. So thank you very much for your time. Um, take care.